Rank 1. Fenrir Fenrir, often seen as a symbol of chaos and destruction, has a backstory that is as intriguing as it is tragic. Born to the trickster god Loki and the giantess Angerboda, Fenrir is part of a formidable family, including his serpent brother Jormungandr and his sister Hel, who presides over the underworld. Not just part of this fearsome trio, Fenrir is also a sibling to Odin's steed, Sleipnir, and other lesser-known wolves, tied by complex family threads that shape much of Norse cosmology. In the dense iron forests of Jan Vida, in the east of Midgard, lives a giantess known as Jan Vidja. She bears two children, Skoll and Hati, wolves fated to chase the sun and moon. These wolves, born of Fenrir's lineage, highlight the recurring themes of pursuit and destiny in Norse tales. But what truly marks Fenrir's tale is his fate intertwined with fear and prophecy. The gods, frightened by a prophecy that Fenrir would kill Odin during Ragnarok, decided to bind him. Initially, they used simple fetters like lading, which Fenrir easily broke. Surprised by his strength, they tried a stronger bond called Dromi, which he also shattered. Realizing they needed something unbreakable, the gods commissioned the dwarfs to craft Gleipnir, a magical ribbon made from impossible materials. Deceptively thin, Gleipnir was potent enough to hold Fenrir, but Fenrir, sensing a trap, demanded a show of good faith. Brave Tyr, the god of war, placed his hand in Fenrir's mouth as a pledge. As prophesied, Fenrir couldn't break Gleipnir. Realizing he was betrayed, he bit off Tyr's hand. This act of betrayal and Fenrir's binding are crucial as they symbolize the gods' fear and the lengths they'd go to avert fate. When Ragnarok finally arrives, Fenrir breaks free, growing so large that his jaws reach from the heavens to the earth devouring anything in his path, including Odin himself. However, his rampage ends shortly after, as Odin's son, Vidar, avenges his father, killing Fenrir by tearing his jaws apart. Fenrir's legend, like many tales from Norse mythology, offers more than just a story of monsters and gods. It's a narrative rich with symbolism, challenging our understanding of morality and destiny. Thanks for joining us on this mythological journey. Until next time, keep seeking the myths behind the legends. Rank 2. Jormungandr Hello everyone. Jormungandr, the Midgard Serpent. Born from the union of the trickster god Loki and the giantess Angerboda, Jormungandr is one of the most awe-inspiring figures in Norse mythology. Odin, fearing the serpent's power, cast him into the ocean where he grew so large that he could encircle the earth and grasp his own tail, a symbol of infinity and the cycle of nature. Imagine a colossal snake with scales the color of the deep ocean, glowing red eyes that burn with the fires of Ragnarok, and a body so vast it shadows the seabed. Jormungandr's immense size and terrifying appearance make him a truly monumental figure in the mythic pantheon. In Norse lore, Jormungandr's role extends far beyond just being a monstrous snake. His eternal grip on his tail keeps the world in balance, but also hints at the chaos that his release could bring. At Ragnarok, the end of the world, he confronts Thor in a battle that results in their mutual destruction, symbolizing the end and rebirth of the cosmos. Until next time, keep the myths alive and your curiosity wild. Rank 3. Hell. Welcome back, fellow adventurers. Today, we delve into the enigmatic world of Hell, the goddess of the underworld. Hell also known as Hela or Halja, is the daughter of Loki and Angerboda. Picture this. She's part beauty, part decay, ruling over the realm where the dead wander. Her domain, Helheim, the final resting place for those who have passed on. 
But don't worry, she's not in the business of snatching souls prematurely. Hell's more of a caretaker than a reaper. But every powerful deity needs their entourage. Meet Ganglert and Ganglati, her lazy walking attendants, and Hrimmer, the captain of Nagelfar, the ship made of fingernails and toenails. Hell's crib, El Yudnir, a massive mansion dripping with sleet and snowstorms, and guarding its gates is Nagrind, where the dead await passage to the afterlife. Now, here's where things get epic. When Ragnarok arrives, Hell sets sail in Nagalfar, leading the charge of the undead towards Midgard, our realm. So, whether you're fascinated by mythology or just looking for a spine-tingling tale, Hell's story is one you won't soon forget. Until next time, keep the legends alive. Rank 4. Nidhogg Hey everyone, welcome back to Legends Unleashed. Today we're diving deep into the roots of Norse mythology to uncover the story of Nidhogg, the terrifying dragon that gnaws at the roots of the world tree, Yggdrasil. In the vast cosmos of Norse myths, Nidhogg plays a crucial role as the dragon who never rests, constantly gnawing at the roots of Yggdrasil, the tree that connects all realms of existence. This isn't just any tree, it's the lifeblood of the Norse cosmos, and Nidhogg is its greatest threat. Imagine a massive dragon covered in black scales, with piercing eyes and a body emanating the stench of decay. Nidhogg's fearsome appearance is completed by its sharp claws and long venomous teeth, a true monster from the depths of the Norse underworld. Despite its fearsome nature, Nidhogg is also cunning, often engaging in sinister dialogue with other mythological beings. Nidhogg is more than just a mythical beast, it represents the cycle of destruction and regeneration. As a harbinger of Ragnarok, the Norse apocalypse, Nidhogg reminds us of the world's fragility and the constant presence of destructive forces. Its relentless attack on Yggdrasil serves as a warning. Even the mightiest can fall, and the need for renewal is ever-present. That's our look into the chilling tale of Nidhogg, a creature that not only frightens but also fascinates. Until next time, keep the legends alive. Rank 5. Skoll and Hati Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the thrilling world of Norse mythology to explore the epic tale of Skoll and Hati, the wolves of Ragnarok. Today, we're delving deep into the story of Skoll and Hati, two legendary wolves who play a crucial role in the Norse apocalypse known as Ragnarok. So, here's the deal, folks. Skoll and Hati are no ordinary wolves. Nope, they're the offspring of Fenrir, the monstrous wolf, and they've got a pretty big job to do. Skoll, well, he's the wolf who chases the sun, while Hattie's got his eyes set on the moon. Talk about a cosmic chase, am I right? Now, you might be wondering, why are these furry guys so important? Well, let me tell you. According to Norse mythology, Skoll and Hattie's relentless pursuit of the sun and moon is a sign of the impending apocalypse, Ragnarok. When these wolves finally catch their prey, it's game over for the gods and the world as we know it. Yikes. But wait, there's more. Skoll and Hattie aren't your average wolves. Nah, they're cosmic creatures with some serious speed and strength. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Rank 6, Draugr. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mythical Mysteries. Today, we're diving deep into the eerie world of Norse mythology to uncover the secrets of the Draugr the undead menace of ancient sagas. The Draugr, known in ancient Norse folklore, is not your average spooky spectre. These creatures are undead beings that rise from their graves to haunt the living. Think of them as the Norse version of zombies, but much, much scarier. 
Picture this, a towering ghastly figure with blue or pale skin exuding an aura of decay. Draugrs are often depicted wearing their burial clothes, sometimes armed with their old weapons, which makes them even more formidable. They weren't just ghostly, they were corporeal, able to interact physically with the environment, which made them truly terrifying. Draugrs possessed supernatural strength and were known to grow in size at will. They could also control elements of their environment and had powers like creating illusions to confuse trespassers or seekers of their hidden treasures. And let me tell you, these guys held grudges. They would often guard their grave sites against any who dared to disturb them. See you next time. Rank 7. Trolls Hello and welcome to Mythical Realms. In today's episode, we're venturing into the enigmatic world of trolls, those formidable creatures of Norse folklore that have captivated our imaginations for centuries. Trolls are often envisioned as colossal beings, with rugged features that blend seamlessly into the Nordic landscapes. From towering heights and muscular builds to skins that mimic the textures of the forest, trolls are the epitome of nature's guardians, or its tormentors. Trolls are not just powerful, but are endowed with magical abilities that can either aid or doom those who encounter them. Some legends speak of trolls who can become invisible or transform into other creatures to deceive humans or protect their treasures. Traditionally, trolls dwell in isolated areas, mountains, forests, and particularly caves. These creatures are nocturnal, avoiding sunlight which, according to legend, can turn them to stone. Their homes are said to be laden with the treasures of lost travelers and remnants of ancient battles. While often portrayed as malevolent, trolls vary widely in disposition. Some stories depict them as mischievous yet benign, interested more in puzzling or outwitting humans rather than harming them directly. Until next time, keep the spirit of adventure alive. Rank 8. Kraken Ahoy, adventure lovers! The Kraken. Join me as we explore the legend of this monstrous beast, whose tales have haunted sailors for centuries. In the cold, unforgiving waters of Scandinavia, the Kraken emerges as a colossal sea monster, often depicted as a giant squid or octopus. With tentacles large enough to wrap around entire ships, this leviathan has been the stuff of nautical nightmares. Imagine being on a vessel and seeing this gigantic creature rising from the depths, its tentacles like towers of muscle, ready to drag you and your ship down to the ocean's dark recesses. It's a scene straight out of an ancient mariner's tale. The Kraken's presence is often accompanied by whirlpools and rough seas, adding to the terror it inspires. It's said that the Kraken could create massive waves and even whirlpools just by surfacing. But what could have inspired such a fearsome legend? Some believe the tales of the Kraken are based on sightings of real giant squids, creatures that remain elusive but are known to inhabit deep ocean waters. These real-life leviathans can grow up to 40 feet long and have eyes as big as dinner plates, making them formidable predators of the deep. The Kraken not only symbolizes the dangers of the ocean, but also represents the human fear of the unknown. Throughout history, this legendary creature has been a metaphor for the uncharted and the unspeakable horrors that lurk beneath the waves. Until our next adventure, keep the legends alive and the curiosity flowing. Rank 9. Fafnir Welcome back, legend seekers. Today on Myth Hunters, we're uncovering the dark tale of Fafnir, the once human turned dragon who embodies greed and betrayal. Fafnir was born a prince, son to the dwarf king Hraidmar, but this story takes a dark turn with a cursed treasure, gifted by the gods to settle a blood debt. Among this treasure was Anvari's ring, a piece so powerful 
it promised endless wealth. Fafnir's greed knew no bounds. Driven by the Cursed Ring's promise, he committed the unthinkable, murdering his own father to claim all the gold. To protect his hoard and himself from potential usurpers, Fafnir turned to dark magic to transform into a formidable dragon. As a dragon, Fafnir lay upon his treasure on the Gnita Heath Plains, his presence a warning to all who dared approach. But every legend has its hero. Enter Sigurd, the brave warrior mentored by Fafnir's own brother Regin, who sought revenge. Armed with a magical sword and a heart full of courage, Sigurd faced the mighty Fafnir, aiming to end his reign of terror. Sigurd's victory over Fafnir is a tale of valor, but it's also a grim reminder of the destructive power of greed. The treasures that once promised infinite riches brought nothing but strife and sorrow. Until next time, keep seeking the legends. Rank 10. Grilla. Hello, and welcome back to Mythical Mysteries. As we cozy up this chilly winter night, let's dive into one of Iceland's most chilling holiday legends, the tale of Grilla, the Christmas troll who preys on naughty children. High in the Icelandic mountains, hidden from the cheerful festivities, lives Grilla, a monstrous giantess with a taste for misbehavior. Described as having horns, a large nose, and a fearsome look, Grilla is not your typical fairy tale witch. Grilla is notoriously known for her horrific hobby, hunting down children who have misbehaved throughout the year. According to legend, she descends from her mountain lair during Christmas, searching for her next meal. Her husband, Lepaludi, is as lazy as they come, often staying back while Grilla does the dirty work. Together, they have a brood of 13 mischievous sons, known as the Eula Lads, who visit children in the days leading up to Christmas, causing all sorts of mayhem. Each Eula Lad has his own unique way of spreading Christmas chaos, from stealing leftovers to slamming doors. But it's their mother, Grilla, who truly embodies the essence of terror in the Icelandic Christmas tradition. And let's not forget her favorite dish, naughty children's stew. Grilla's appetite is said to be insatiable, and her cauldron is never empty, always bubbling with her latest catch. Grilla's tale is more than just a scare tactic for children. It reflects the harsh realities of Icelandic winters and the importance of discipline and behavior in a historically tough environment. Thanks for joining us on this thrilling journey through one of Isaland's darkest holiday legends. Rank 11, Mare. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mythical Nightmares. Tonight, we dive into the dark corners of Norse folklore to uncover the spine-chilling tale of the Mare, the nightmarish spirit that haunts our sleep. Get ready to pull your covers tight, because this story might just keep you awake tonight. In the quiet of night, when shadows whisper and the wind howls, there exists an ancient and eerie presence known as the Mare. This spectral entity is notorious for creeping into bedrooms, sitting on the chests of its victims and suffocating them into a world of terror and nightmares. The Mare isn't just your ordinary bogeyman. This entity is deeply rooted in Norse culture, believed to be the very essence of nightmares. People in ancient Scandinavia would blame the Mare for their sleepless nights and terrifying dreams, imagining it as a dark, ghastly figure that you might just catch a glimpse of in the corner of your room as you drift into sleep. Physically, the Mare is often depicted as an almost formless dark shadow, but its impact is anything but shapeless. Victims report feeling an immense pressure on their chest, struggling to breathe as if the weight of the world is upon them. And it doesn't stop there. The Mare is not only a bringer of bad dreams, but also a symbol of uncontrollable natural phenomena and psychological torment it represents ancient fears, 
embodying the chaos and unpredictability of nature itself. Thanks for joining us on this creepy journey into Norse mythology and the legend of the mare. Sleep tight and sweet dreams. Or maybe just try to. Rank 12. Eikthyrnir. Welcome back to Legends Unleashed, everyone. Today, we're stepping into the enchanting realm of Norse mythology to explore the story of Eikthyrna, the mystical stag whose antlers flow with the waters of life. High above in the halls of Valhalla, where heroes dwell in the afterlife, stands Eikthyrnir, the great stag. Perched on the roof of Valhalla, Eikthyrnir is not just any stag, but a divine creature whose antlers drip with water that sustains all rivers of the world. Eikthyrnir's waters flow directly into the well of Bergelmire, which is said to be the source of all earthly rivers. This connection between the stag and the life-giving waters highlights the vital role that nature plays in Norse cosmology. The waters from Eikthyrnir's antlers symbolize endless life and fertility, sustaining not only the physical realm, but also enriching the spiritual essence of the Norse universe. In the myths, Eikthyrnir is more than a mere symbol. He embodies the prosperity and regenerative powers of nature. Through his antlers, life continues to flourish, reminding us of the interconnectedness of all living things. Until next time, keep the legends alive. Rank 13, Svadulfari. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mythical Chronicles. Today we're diving deep into the heart of Norse mythology with one of the most epic tales of construction, deception and divine horsepower. In times of peril, the gods of Asgard decided they needed a fortress, but not just any fortress, a wall that could protect them against any threat. Enter a mysterious builder with a deal too intriguing to ignore. He promised to complete the walls in just three seasons, but his price, the beautiful goddess Freya, the sun and the moon. Now the gods were no fools, or so they thought. Led by the ever-tricky Loki, they agreed but with a twist. The builder could use only his horse, Svadilfari, and he had to finish the work on time. What they didn't expect was Svadilfari's strength was extraordinary, almost supernatural. Svadilfari, the stallion, was not an ordinary horse. Night and day he worked, hauling massive stones, his power unmatched, his endurance unyielding, the wall rose and with each stone, the builder's victory seemed more certain. But Loki, feeling the heat as the deadline approached, knew he had to step up his game. So, what did he do? He transformed into a beautiful mare, luring Svadilfari away from the construction site, sabotaging the whole project. With Svadilfari distracted, the work slowed, and the builder's true form as a mountain giant was revealed. The gods, now free from their bargain, punished him for his deception. And what about Svadil Fari? Well, his brief encounter with Loki led to the birth of Sleipnir, Odin's eight-legged steed, known as the best of all horses. Until next time.